always heard about it, but I never thought I'd see one as close as I did. It was intimidating at first, but I just told myself I'd have to get comfortable with the idea of living with it. I'd just moved and I was looking to settle down. I'd been house haunting a long time, but haunting a celebrity was never anything I, I really believed in happening. I'd heard of friends who'd had celebrity encounters, but I was very skeptical until he entered. Honey, I'm home. He's the most good-looking man I've ever seen. Dead or alive. He always seemed mad about something. Sit down, check the door. I found some crumpled up tabloids in the garbage and some mail with his name on it. John Ham. Roger, have a drink. Damn it, Peggy! And he had something way more interesting going on than just his pretty face, if you know what I mean. Oh my stars! That explains the tight pants and why his wife is always smiling. I couldn't help myself. I'll be honest, I took a shine to my little hamster. Performance without compromise. Sterling Cooper, Draper Price. Yes! He's a dish, but he sure can't cook one. He almost burnt his food every time he cooked for himself, poor dear. Good thing I was around, especially when he was handling raw meat. I think that could use a little salt. Where is it? I ain't dead yet. Oh, well, it doesn't mean I don't have any feelings. Finally, I decided to get a little closer. I did something that I haven't done in ages. We have to leave this house. Remember when I told you I kept having that tingling sensation around my crotch? And that was it. My first celebrity encounter ever. And what a lucky one it was, too. They don't call him John Ham for nothing.